If you like the EP, if you fuck with it, bro, like, share it. Like, I have a whole shit ton of unreleased music. Some summer bangers, because, you know, it's getting warm outside. And you know some stuff that types up to, like, my hood side. And I mean, I have, like, over, like, 30, 40 songs that are just unreleased right now, just sitting in the vault. I figured a good way to, like, you know, a good amount of them out was to make, like, a small EP. And since I haven't done one yet, name of the EP. Silver Surfer down, surfing on my own wave. Can't hold me on my water. Simple as that. Picked up my first song, Silver Surfer, to be the start of the EP because, like, you know, it has, like, a really nice buildup. It had, like, a nice, like, little intro and then i put don't get caught because i needed people to know that i could just come with the straight heat i came with britney because i need to show these guys that i could come with the heat with the melodies and i can make a club banger that your shorty's gonna be bumping and you're gonna get mad because she's like why are you bumping this nigga track because she likes it because i'm a better rapper than you simple as that and then as you gonna ride the banger with the melodies and the hood shit because if you thought i was a bitch for dropping britney then you're gonna see why i go on when i put is you gonna ride out because then you're gonna be like damn this guy's a sicko and then i made rojo because your boy's bilingual bro like, I thought you already knew this, man. Like, you know, I had to fucking put a one two Spanish in it, show people what's popping. Because apparently, I heard there's some Spanish rappers out here in London who think they're sick. You're not. Let me tell you that from right now, nigga. LBK got it. And then I got Ain't Breathing, the final song on the project. And the reason why I picked Ain't Breathing was because, like, like an introduction as to who I am. Little, like, rumbly side. You got the aggressive side of me. You got, like, the love of my side of me, the side of me that likes to party. You got the Spanish side of me. And then you got Ain't Breathing, which was, like, all, like, my failures and all the shit that I've gone through in life. And I put it into a song so I can show people that I am not perfect. Just like everybody else on this planet. And you know, this is why I'm not perfect. Cause And then boom, I just pretty much exposed myself so y'all can't expose me. <laughs> Simple as that. And you got a music video for each track. I know, not for each track. Shout out Teo, that guy's a sicko. If y'all need your music videos done, go Teo right now, bro, in London, fam. I'm telling you right now, bro, he'll deal with you for a nice price. And on top of all that, he's more talented than half these fuck niggas. A video for Britney, I was hyped up about it because I've never really had like a proper, proper music video. And I shot uh, a video for Ain't Breathing with him. And basically my plan for the video with Ain't Breathing is I'm dropping the, the Britney video on the same day that the EP comes out. After some time goes by, seeing as how the EP goes, I'm probably gonna drop the Ain't Breathing video like probably a week after. Yeah, that's pretty much my plan. I might end up making a video for another song on the project. Or I might just say fuck that and just start making videos for future single releases that I have planned out. Because I'm already starting to like plan out like how much shit I want to like put out and like shoot and whatnot. Because it's more like, you know, captivating. And it's a way of like visually showing what I'm expressing in the song. Because some people nowadays they just listen to music blindly. Like, you know, they don't listen to the lyrics. So, you know, you might as well fucking watch me do some shit. Some balling up, flexing money. This, that's what y'all niggas want to see. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we just ended up hitting like a super sick spot. We went to on top of a building downtown. There was actually some people in the building over that's a little taller than us. Just watching out the window and shit. And they came out and they were like, Yo, no, this guy's a freaking rapper on top of a freaking building. You don't see that shit in London, bro. You know what I mean? I was fucking losing this shit. That shit was funny as fuck, but... Yeah, and then, I don't know, we just we just got a couple nice scenes out and, and, and like, you know, places that I don't want to expose yet. So, you know, y'all gonna have to wait. I'm telling you, we got some sick scenes, some shit that I actually haven't seen people do. They probably have done it, but I haven't seen it, you know, personally. So, as far as I'm concerned, they haven't done it. So, fuck you. <laughs>